Project Sarah. I have a project, well not a project here. I got a pocket letter from Mary Hill and I also have a small haul video that I wanted to do. Um, and then I might come back and attach a couple of pocket letters that I made to the end of it. Um, I went to a different tr Dollar Tree today, the one that's like, it's like 20 minutes away. I have one like five minutes from here, but uh, my, I had to go take my son to pick up his car and it's a little further, but anyway, they always have the good stuff in this other um, Dollar Tree, so I want to show you what I got. Uh, not all crafty stuff, but um, this is a pocket letter I received from Mary Hill, and I just love it. I love this tassel. I mean, look at that. It's so soft. It's like one of those satiny kind, and look at the colors. Um, I love the gold and the bling. This bird, hello, I might have to steal it. I totally love this bird. Like. I think I might just make some just because they're super cute and I love them. Um, the little pocketbook, I didn't even like see if that's actually, if she made, I think she made it. That is adorable. Yeah. I think, she, oh, it's a sticker. Hold on. Mary, I don't know. I think, I think we could totally make these though. That's adorable. I think if you didn't make that, I think you did make it because those look like trims and I think you did. That's what I'm going with. Um, <laughs> a believe tag, a couple of buttons, and look at this. I just got this at the Dollar Tree and it was the only one. And I, that's why I, like, I love that Dollar Tree, but this was the only one that I saw. I mean, they might have been in a different place. But look at that. And I think when I saw these, I thought that must be what Mary put in there, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and then she got me some goodies. So I am going to be, I have three ready to go today. I have to just write the letters, the ones that I shared. Oopsie. Sorry about that. The ones that I shared in a previous video. So you guys, I'm so sorry. They're not, you know, I, I get distracted and I've been outside a lot and not crafting as much. Something fell Anywho, so let me show you what I got. I got these dividers again. This is the plastic dividers. This is an eight pack, which I'm very excited about um, to try and see if my fuse will fuse them. But I got a clear, like it's like a blue, orange, red, yellow, green, a darker red, and another blue. So. I'm hoping the fuse will work with these plastics because I like to use these for um, the Fodori inserts and um, I like the colors. I just like that that is a, an option to have the color. Um, I got this. This is a crafty item. This is just black paper, like um, craft paper. It's a little, I think I'm, it's not, it's kind of like construction paper, like a kid's construction paper, but I thought making, um, a couple of insert like little book inserts for the Midori for Maya size too but I'm gonna do one for me and my little one um, so that you could just play with your gel pens so you have some black paper and it was a dollar so I mean it's not even really black black it's kind of like a charcoal -y color but still um, and it it shows um, chalk on here so I don't know I just thought it was kind of cool um, these cute little bags were there and they had other colors I just grabbed this one and um, thought I thought the zippers were pretty good on it um, yeah I mean they're a dollar so it's not like they're great construction but I couldn't resist the rainbow uh, zebra and then I got green so that was cool um, I'm starting to get a lot of pens and thought or even well not brushes as much but just to hold things I don't have a lot of pencil cases or any cases like I don't get them at Target like you guys do sometimes I got this little um, screwdriver set. Um, I'm always looking for like a little one like that and I had one before and I put it in the junk drawer and it gets taken and people lose them and I'm keeping this in my stash. So I have it. Um, this is some scotch washi and I don't know that I've ever tried the scotch washi. Um, so this one just has like a travel print in the teal which I love that color, blue green. Um, and I thought that was super cute. There were other ones, but I, you know, I'm not overdoing it. I haven't been using all the washi that I have. 
so I wanted to just um, try that but this is what I thought I would try these were some stickers that I thought were cute they're three-dimensional and they're summer so I thought these would look so cute in a pocket letter so I have to pick out some um, background paper but then I think I might just decorate a couple pocket letters I bought two of each kind so this one has Hello spring, well they're not summer then. Um, but this one with the little birds on the fence and the birds, I love the birds and the cricket or the grasshop and the bees, I really love everything. And then this one's a little different. It's again spring, so they're not summer. Well, I don't have to use that if it says spring. Um, but I just like the bugs, I love the bee scap. So cute, so I got two of each of those. And then this was the only other stickers that I kind of really liked. And it was the only one, these googly eye princesses and stuff. I thought they would just be cute to put in your planner or wherever. So we'll see. Um, I actually have, I was thinking of making um, another one of those. Uh, I'm going to get up and go get it. But this, I had it all done. But Maya didn't help me. We were going to make a Father's Day present. And I don't know, but like, look, I have a white one. These were on clearance at Michael's. I got this for three bucks, three something. And like, I have these pictures. See, some of them, I think I put them. Oh, man, where did I put them? Right here. So I was going to put like, I have this background. I mean, look how cute she is. She's freaking cute. I had this background paper in the um, black one, but look at that. Oh my God, the kid is amazing. And that's her and her pop-up. But I was gonna put these in there, right? But wouldn't these look cute in like every other one? <gasps> they fit perfect. Oh, I might do that. This one's a little bent, but we'll see. Like I really, really just thought they were adorable, but I think that could just be the perfect thing to put in here because they didn't get me. They were supposed to be for Father's Day, but um, somebody didn't help me and I wasn't, he's not my father, so I didn't want to, um, you know, there's other other days we can make it and when she wants to make it, we'll make it, but uh, you know, I don't know. I just think she has to be involved if she's gonna, I'm not making it for her. Anyway, and then I got these flip flops. These flip-flops were a dollar, and I just thought they were too cute to resist. I don't usually, um, like, I've never actually tried these, like, rubber thong ones, but for, like, around the house and, like, at the pool and stuff, I thought, well, I'm definitely going to try them. So that's basically it for my haul. I think I'm going to be right back. Well, it's going to take me a minute, but I'm going to come back and share those, uh, a couple pocket letters. All right, so Mary Hill, thank you very, very much, and I will have yours hopefully in the mail shortly. I have to get these out. I'm so sorry to those of you who are still waiting. Um, Poodles Paper Crafts, I know I'm, I owe you yours. I owe Barbie, I think, and one other, I think I owe one other person. I'm not sure. So I apologize, and hopefully, hopefully I will get those out shortly. All right, you guys, that's it for now. I'll be back. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm back and look how cute they are. I'm so excited. This is such a good idea and easy. Uh, all I did was I found this piece of like vellum card stuff. Well, it's not. I mean, it was in a, um, let's see. Here it is. It's, uh, the card stack is right here this is a recollections weekends it's called paper pad and it was only $5.99 when I bought it but it has there's boy and girl pages like see all the crowns and princessy stuff and there's actually cut aparts in the back cool tags and stuff that's good for pocket letters but it has a few different types of vellum like there's this craft no, that's not, it's not actually vellum, but it's like a different textured paper. Anywho, that's where I found it. And I was looking, this is kind of like a crafty, I'm telling you, it's like a different feel to it. Anyway, um, so I just pulled the green and I think a blue would have looked nice too. But see, it's vellum. So it's not actually two-sided, but 
it looks pretty cool from the back too. I mean, it's see-through. I don't know. I think it looks cool. Um, I'm waiting for my fuse to heat up and I'm going to um, seal these little uh, shakers I made. But let me show you this one first. This one was the first one and I changed a few things. Um, I didn't use this sticker on the other one. Um, I cut off places like the bottom of the log here said hello spring so I just cut that off I like lined it up and I used the flower I put the post of this birdhouse down on this one and I put the snails here and then I stuck the flower behind this and kind of filled that page I love the bee skeps oh my gosh I cut this little bee he was also like I don't I used them both but he was on something like I don't know on a leaf or something but I just covered up the words. It said something about spring on the branch. So I covered that up and had him just sleeping up there. And I like some of them didn't fit. So I just put the other part of the sticker on the other side. But this one's my fave because then after I made that one, I could look at this and, and like kind of see what I wanted to do. So um, I didn't, ch I changed a few things, but I used this flower underneath the, um, the birdhouse this time and I just cut a little another piece like into the shape of a leaf because it seemed kind of um like an empty spot there but that's all the ladybugs and I did the sleeping bee again and um, I extended the log on this one but because I, I just cut it on this one I just cut it off but I extended it over I just changed a few things but I love them I think they turn out oh I cut the snails in half so I I, instead of using the whole snail sticker like this, I just cut them apart, like the tad, um, the toadstool with the snail and the other snail, and just kind of use them separately, like to fill in this space here for the spider, and then I put one up here with the flower. So I think they turned out so cute, you guys. This was actually the fastest I've ever made um, pocket letters. Um, this was such a fun idea. I literally, I still have some stickers left, but I don't think I have enough for another pocket letter. I might. No, I don't think I do. I didn't use the grasshopper. I really like him, too. He's super sweet. Um, and I didn't use the centipede. I love critters. Like, this is super cute. So, anyway, for $4, you know, basically, that was what it took. And then I put, like some of my shape sequins like my bug sequins I have I have a couple different like ladybugs flies butterflies and dragonflies so and then just some flowers I didn't film up too much but I think I'm going to use this trim this is I think from Michaels I don't remember studio 18 but I'm going to seal this up and then I'm going to just glue a piece of that across where you seal it I like that I have the pink which actually that might look cute to bring that pop of color and I have yellow I think I'm gonna use that or I was thinking of putting this which I love this and I have not used that yet but I like to kinda of cover up the seal and just give it a little something so I'm gonna do that alright you guys so that was it um, I am totally into looking for more of these stickers now they were so fun to play with and thanks for watching